name is Adrian Nanshev and this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur. So click on the subscribe button and press the bell notification next to it for the latest uploads. Now this is episode 48 of 101 Entrepreneur Mistakes and Lessons. Set deadlines. Time is very important. You don't want to waste it. Especially when, well, time when you want to, when you want to leverage time instead. And what do I mean by that? Parkinson's law. There's a thing called Parkinson's law that says that a task will be completed in the allotted time assigned to it. So if I'm told I have to be somewhere in one hour, I will be there in one hour. If instead I have to be somewhere in two days. I will eventually, sometime, leave here and be there tomorrow, just on time. Yeah, whatever. When you set deadlines, you're setting yourself an allotted time to complete stuff, like a milestone to get things done throughout the month or throughout the year. <clears throat> what you want to try and do, and this is what I want to try and do as well, here's your deadline to accomplish X. What I then say is, accomplish X plus 10% more, 12% more, let's say I want to record 10 videos in a day, okay, let's try and record 11 or 12, yeah. And then I'll say, okay, let's do it in a little bit less time. Put a bit of pressure on me to get the job done. Fast, fast, action, action. I say, let's do 10% more to push yourself. We can do 10, of course we can do 10. Let's do 11, let's do 12, let's, let's get ahead of the ball. Let's make some slag and let's create a little bit of leeway for us. I mean, like for tomorrow and less stuff to work, less stuff to do next week. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do twelve. Yeah, push. Get the habit. Go, go, go. And I say a little bit less. Just push yourself. Just mentally push. Find some quick ways. Figure it out in the fast and lean and efficient way. Just, just a little bit faster. A little bit less time. Add a bit of pressure. The great um, American composer Leonard Bernstein says that a plan. Require a great plan even requires two things. One, no, no, no. Oh, God, I got it wrong again. Greatness requires two things: a plan and not quite enough time. So let's say the plan is I want to do this, that, and the other. There's a strategy, the tactics, and here's the time. But let's reduce it by a little bit. Not quite enough. Just a little bit extra, extra push. A little extra push. I made the kind of mistake by taking that principle and going a little too far with it in uh, New Year's 2016-17. In New Year's I decided to create and write a series of books, a series of uh, non-fiction non books. I wanted to do 235 books by the 20, 23rd of March 2017. I got around 20 in the end. Yeah. Not, not very good. I, I went a little bit too far with that. So these goals have got to be realistic and attainable. They could be realistic with regards to your abilities, your talents, and attainable within like laws of physics and like is it actually doable? And, you know, can that actually be done? Is it realistic? That two hundred thirty-five was damn ambitious, but very unrealistic. It was within my capacity to write that many books, but too short of a space of time. But that's that. It's good and bad. It's bad because I didn't get the didn't get the uh, goals, but also good because I learned some damn important lessons with that, and learned some really important lessons. The main thing is that I was focusing on like the the end product as opposed to building the community, which I'm sorting that out now because I was like doing the sales funnel in reverse. It wasn't really wasn't the ideal uh, sequence of things to go for, but I made a slight mistake there. But you want to leverage Parkinson's law to get things done, not quite enough time, create milestones for yourself. So the question of the day is, what kind of deadlines are you creating for yourself? How are you pushing yourself forward? What are you doing? What kind of deadlines are you creating? For me, this channel is my main focus right now. So right now I'm creating three videos a day and uh, uploading them. Uh, once I get to around 200 videos probably, I'm about 70 or 80 videos away. I might start to do two videos a day rather than three videos a day. Ease it off a little bit because I got a lot of a lot of content. Just need to be just need to be discovered at that point. Um, so I'm trying to push that. What what I'm trying to do is 
every day I'm creating two days worth of content. So Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday covered. Tuesday, Thursday and Friday covered. Wednesday, Friday, uh, Saturday and Sunday covered. Thursday, Monday and Tuesday covered. So I'm always getting extra... I'm always getting ahead of myself by creating more content. Two days worth. So I've got more free time. Makes things easier for the future. So that. And I'm also trying to do the same for another, another YouTube channel of mine, which is to do the hemp. But that one is like, here's this one. 100 videos, 120, 130 odd, and here's the other one, like down here with like barely 6 or 4 or 5. So I need to pull that one up really big. But I need to change strategy slightly. But I want to get these two up and running as soon as possible. Well, let me think. Actually, I'm going to place a deadline right now. I'm going to create a deadline right now. So this is organic. This is, this is me thinking. So I need to do this video, do, create those content. What day is it today exactly? Okay. Yeah, so my goal then, my, my deadline, see this is, this is two way, my deadline is I want to get to 100 videos for my hemp channel by the end of July, and I want to get to 200 videos by the end of July as well. So there you go. That, that's my deadlines. What are you doing? That's July 2017. <laughs> what, what, what are your deadlines? And don't forget, subscribe, click on the bell notification below, and yeah, subscribe and the bell notification below for the latest uploads. How cool is that?